Hi. If you've watched to the end of the Terraria video of the Dryad playthrough part three to the very end, you don't need to watch this because this was at the end of that and you've already seen this. If not, and you like me as a creator or you've been following my channel, I recommend you keep watching this. Where have I been? To be honest with you, the answer is actually pretty simple. I was taking a break from YouTube um, and just working on some other stuff. Mainly this like ARG project for my friends to play. That was mainly what it was. And then I started working on this like board game. Yeah, I'm autistic, so I work on weird shit like that. But yeah, basically at the end of... Because back then I was doing like these daily week things where I would upload daily for a week. And it was basically taking up like almost the entire month's worth of of my time to produce like you know like 30 minute to an hour long things and have them all edited in time for like a week to upload them every day in a row during a week and i was like i don't want to do this anymore and i was just on some like huge like burnout because i'd done that twice i think at that point and i was like i didn't expect it to be kind of so involved i thought it would be like more of a background thing i would be working on throughout the month as opposed to like what I would have to dedicate almost the entire month to. So um, I just needed a break after all of that. I actually felt really, really bad about not uploading over that period of time. And I was like, I have to make up for this. I have to not just upload like one or two, or like a couple videos. I have to upload like every video that I ever planned to make. It all has to be there to fill in that time you know, that I was gone, like, make up for it, and so the plan was, so, like, I'm back now, but the plan was to come back and upload these videos, Dryad Part 3, Merfolk Part 1, and Merfolk Part 2, the Advanced Wars video, that one did come out, Zoom In 3, Zoom In 4, and then Zoom In 5, even, the Punch-Out video with Onyx that we tried to work on, and then, like, stuff happened, it couldn't come out because of, like, technical difficulties and stuff. And then the Smash Bros. video, that came out. Um, and then there's supposed to be a Wii Sports video because Henry, in that video, was actually coming to my house to do a Wii Sports video. Um, and then this, like, Minecraft map video, which I might still release, but I don't even know if I can. There's kind of logistics around it. I don't know. Um, so, you know, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> Keep in mind, a lot of these videos are, like, pretty big projects, and a lot of them are, like, b besides the Advance Wars video, which is, like, like a silly little funny video, a lot of them are, like, an hour or longer, where, you know, like, the Merfolk, uh, the Dryad video, I mean, that one did come out, but, um, you know, the Terraria Zoom In Challenge, that was an hour plus long, the Smash Bros. video is an hour plus long, the Wii Sports video was definitely going to be an hour plus long. You know, and then combine that with the fact of, like, all these technical difficulties with the programs that I have to work with. Like, the Xbox Game Bar, which Windows is what I use to record. I can't use OBS because it, uh, it's too laggy, it's too... My computer's shit, and it can't handle it very well, and it, like, the whole game and, like, recording is slowed down. So I have to use Xbox Game Bar, which... That introduces a whole bunch of problems, like the audio gets desynced or gets scratchy or gets screwed up. And then Clipchamp also sucks and it crashes constantly and I have to work on every video in small parts, export every part, put them together, export that, and then upload that. It's like, it's a pain. So the idea that all of that was going to come out within the span of like a week or a couple, like day after day, is just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. And you know, you might wonder like, well, like, why do you worry so much about doing it, like, day after day? You know, you could just, you could, like, keep working on these videos and just upload them, like, further apart. Um, and I actually, I really like doing it, like, day after day. And I think that's because it benefits me a lot more, like, algorithm-wise. If I can at least temporarily kind of trick the YouTube algorithm into thinking that I'm a daily uploading YouTuber or at least like relatively consistently like close to daily uploading YouTuber, um, I think that will like catapult my growth a lot more at least for that period of time that I am doing that than if I were to upload these videos kind of super far apart. You know, I feel like that makes sense. You know, because after, you know, people find that first video in this, like, sequence of me uploading kind of close together, 
they will they'll rem they'll remember me they'll recognize me after that first one and they might watch the next ones they might not but like you know it, it tricks the algorithm into thinking that i'm at least consistent for a period of time if i if i upload far apart and people find me you know from that first video but then it takes a long time for a second video if that second video isn't something that they also care about like if they came for the terraria but then find this advanced wars video in their notifications box and then they're like like i don't like advanced wars like who is this guy i've never heard this guy like they'll completely forget about me and they'll probably unsubscribe because they're like i don't care about this guy's content they are but if I, you know, upload close together, they won't. They wouldn't have forgotten about me. They would see the Advance Wars video, but probably re they remember me and recognize, like, oh, he's probably going to make some more Terraria content, but, you know, he can do other stuff sometimes. Like, I don't need to unsubscribe for that. So, basically, I've been working on this Terraria, this Dryad Part 3. And, you know, I'm I'm just not as passionate and interested in that topic, you know, the, the idea of playing like these custom elemental based classes and doing full playthroughs on them as I was when I first started this series. To be honest, I'm kind of growing sick and fed up with editing Terraria. Like, I just want to edit something else, anything else. Ugh. <laughs> and alongside that, I'm really kind of sick of the fact that I'm playing, you know, catch up. I really want my channel to kind of be a, uh, like a good window into my life and the kind of things that I was into at that time in my life. And right now it's not so much Terraria and it's more, it's not so much Terraria. It's not so much Smash Bros. Uh, you know, the fr our friend group has, we've, we've started to, you know, like Rivals of Aether a lot more than Smash. So, you know, it's a lot less Terraria Smash, a lot more Rivals, Advanced Wars, um, other stuff. Okay, well, it's less like not so much Terraria and spe more like specifically not so much these like custom class playthroughs. Because back when I, yes, back when I first made the custom class playthroughs, I was interested in doing those and did have fun making them and I wanted to do them. But now... All it's really been is like this excruciating long like train of making these videos to get to the good part. Now what's the good part? The point was that all of these custom class playthroughs were supposed to lead up to this multiplayer Terraria playthrough I was going to do with my friends which would be much more in the editing style of those zoom in playthrough. Um, and basically the point was I needed to get to all these custom classes first because it was going to be this Terraria class, like, wheel spinner challenge, where after every boss, you spin the wheel, you have to play a new class. And we would, like, share items with each other. We would, um, you know, we'd have to pool our resources together and give out all the items once we all get a new class. And it wouldn't have just been the custom, like, elemental classes. We were going to do, like, generic classes. So you'd spin the wheel, you could be, like, melee, and then you could also be, like, specifically boomerang only, or... Um, I don't know, like bow only if you get like ranger, or you could end up getting one of the custom classes. So I felt like I had to establish all of them first before I did that. The thing that kind of made it so painful was the awareness of like how many more I would have to do, how much more of this I would have to experience. Because I mean, I was planning on, you know, the uh, first custom class playthrough was like three episodes long. And I wanted to kind of shrink it into two episodes, which would be pre-hard mode and hard mode. But, it, like, I wasn't even sure if I, as an editor, would be, like, capable of kind of cutting it down that much. So, like, I was like, okay, I mean, I'm editing, like, all this stuff. And there was actually supposed to be seven total series of this custom class stuff. And that's, like, a lot. So I was, like, really, like, not wanting to do that. <laughs> And, you know, you're probably wondering, like, how is there, how could there be seven total series if there's only five custom classes? Well, for one, there was actually, there's actually a sixth custom class that I wanted to make, that I wanted to do, which was going to be like a cyborg who would mainly focus on, like, metal and mechanical stuff, or, like, stuff that you craft and construct. So, like, you could use all the, like, generic broadswords and, like, short swords and the generic, like, copper armor, gold armor. The stuff that a lot of the other classes don't have access to. So, that would add another one. So, that would actually increase it to six. 
and then the seventh series was I was actually gonna plan I was actually planning on redoing the Dryad because as you know around right now the um, the next update of Terraria is about to come out and so I was like I got to do all of them kind of on the same version on the newest version so kind of unfortunate that this kind of event this you know the update is time the timing of this update is happening around now but i was like i'm gonna have to do it again and also there is some items and stuff in the dryad class that i have forgotten which is the orichalcum armor for one of them because it actually makes these like petal projectiles appear which you know petals like a flower that's plant related i didn't know that at the time so i forgot to include that so it's actually kind of out of date so I thought, like, I'm going to have to redo that. So that would make a total of seven. And obviously the sixth, the first one of those seven is finished now because it's uploaded now. So it's only six more. But it's like, I'm not so interested in this anymore. I just, I really don't want to do this custom class stuff. At least for the time being, like maybe in the far future. So if we're not getting all of those videos that I listed before, aside from the ones that have been uploaded, which is that Smash Bros video, a dryad part three the advance force video and this update video which i didn't list before but i you know i don't know whatever um if we're not getting those the other ones not though fuck if we are not getting everything that i listed before what are we getting like what can we expect to see you know within the coming months for videos on my channel and i have a couple answers for you I definitely want to continue the zoom in playthrough that is fun to make, fun to record, and, you know, not super difficult to edit. It is about, every episode is about as long as a, one of the custom class playthroughs, but it's because I'm just editing that one, like, two-hour session down that we play, as opposed to kind of having to link all these separate, you know, multiple hour long videos together and, like, cut it all down. It's a lot more straightforward of an editing process. I think I can keep doing that, and I'd like to keep doing that. Also, I do, I know I said I don't want to do the custom class playthroughs, but as I just mentioned, the, like, the finale of that series, which was supposed to be this multiplayer wheel spinner class playthrough, I really would like to do that. As I said, that is the good part of working on all those custom class playthroughs. That's what it was all supposed to be building to. I'm just going to skip ahead to that and just do that. I want to do that. I think it'll be fun to make fun for my friends fun for me fun to do i think it will be good i want to do that and as you know it's the end of the year is rolling around so i uh i gotta do the next annual goofy ah tournament now i know it wasn't the most like popular video on my channel but i called it annual you know i put that in the title just because i thought it sounded good you know it's the annual this but i didn't actually expect to be doing it annually but like if I, if I call something annual, you know, I got to live up. I got, I got to do that. Now, you know, getting all those people together again or like a, an equivalent amount of people, it's just, it's just not going to happen. You know, it was a, it was a crazy thing that that managed to happen in the first place. Doing it again, I didn't, I never anticipated that would be able to happen. So it's going to have to be a little different, but I mean, I have, a, I have actually a pretty good idea of what we will do and it's only going to feature maybe like three or four people um, and yeah, I, I, I have a plan for that. Um, yeah, I'd like to do that. Another thing I want to do is I have two ideas, uh, for Minecraft. One is simply to just continue that hardcore, uh, cause you know, the first hardcore, the first video that I ever did on Minecraft, I've never beaten Minecraft. I unfortunately still have never beaten Minecraft. I'd like to play, I'd like to just do a casual, like, actual hardcore playthrough. But I do have another idea I want to do in Minecraft Hardcore before that. That's, like, a bit of a spin on it. And I want to see if I can beat Minecraft doing that. Um, you'll see what it is, you know, when I decide to make it. But, yeah, I've got a couple ideas for, for Minecraft. And then alongside all of those specific things that I just listed before... I just generally want to make videos about the games or on the things that I care about because as I said I want it to be kind of a, a window a peek into my life at that point in my life that I'm at and I you know me representing myself showing myself enjoying the things that I like which you know less we're not going to get so much Smash Bros we're going to get more Rivals of Aether if you like Smash Bros 
and you're like, ah, oh, fuck rivals. It's like stupid furry Smash Bros. It's a good game. It's a good game. Uh, you should you should like give it a try. I mean, not like I mean, like give my rivals videos a try if you're into the Smash Bros. videos. Is what I mean. But I mean, I guess you know, it's no harm in you also trying the game. It's a good game. It's a good game. And like, I'm not even talking like workshop stuff. I'm talking like base game. I'm I'm a really big fan of just the base game in general. So yeah, that's the plan going forward. Again, I don't want to like completely forget about these custom class playthroughs. I just they're they're on the back burner. You know, just like the pre hard mode challenge stuff. There, that's all on the back burner. I just want to do what I want to do, and I think that's um, probably the most healthy way to approach YouTube. <laughs> um. Thanks uh, for watching.